Hey everyone, welcome back. John here, Sand Hill Shooter. I just got a couple new things today, and uh, these were sent out for testing and evaluation and review. And so I'm going to uh, unbox this one, and then I'll put up another video of the other item that came in today. But uh, this first one is from Feachi. It's the Feachi RS29 Reflex Sight. It has red and green illuminated reticles, four different options, as you can see across here. And then uh, it does fit a standard size Picatinny rail and uh, no magnification on the thing. So we don't have to worry about uh, breaking any state laws as far as not using magnified optics. And we're going to open this up. It doesn't have a very good way to open it. You just kind of got to dig your fingers in here and get them open. So we'll pop the top off there and see what's in the box. That's the site itself all wrapped up. And then the destruction manual. What's down in here? Lens cloth. Very nice. Spare battery. And hopefully there's one in it. And then last but not least, a couple different sized Allen wrenches. Typically the big one is uh, for the mounting, and then the smaller one is to adjust windage and elevation to zero it. So that is what's in the box. Let's see how good these instructions are here. One one-sided sheet. They only come in English, so if you don't speak English, you're probably not watching this anyway. I bet it'll be okay. Uh, talks about the battery, talks about kind of how to mount it, how to zero it. So I think it's all pretty well straightforward. And then specs at the bottom here. So the, uh, yeah, one click equals one MOA. That's good to know when you get ready to zero this thing on the range. Let's open this up. Got wrapped in bubble wrap here. Whoop! Free chiclets. Don't chew those. They're not really chiclets. Okay, and then we have the actual site itself. First thing you notice when you take this off, there's a cover. That's kind of neat. Nice little rubber, rubber cover that slips off the, I guess you call it a lens. Got a little bit of a mirror. Ooh, I don't want to see that guy. A little bit of a mirrored finish on the front, and then... On the other side, it is a little reflective. Um, we've got different reticles available. I don't know if I can get there, the light shines on them. You can see the different reticle options on this switch. You can turn them from one to the other. And then the power is right here where the battery housing is. There's a dot on that side. And when it's lined up with R, that means the power is actually off. And then you can go through one, two, and three different brightness settings on the reticle. Flip it back to G, which is off again. And then one, two, and three brightness settings on the green. So this does have both red and green options on the reticle. We will uh, put these all the way over. And let's just light this up on red and see if I can get this to... It's hard to do without my hand blocking it. So, there is the red dot. I don't know if I can get the phone to focus in very well on that reticle. But that is this one here, just the circle with a single dot in the middle. What if we go maybe a little brighter? There you can kind of see it a little better all the way up to three. A circle and a dot. Very hard to get this thing to focus in there. But there it is. Okay, hey. What if... I don't know if that makes a difference. Okay, so. Flip it back around. It goes to off. Then it goes to green. That's a little easier to see in the video. Spin it again. And again. The brighter the settings aren't easier to pick up on this video. So there is the first reticle. And then if I turn this switch, one more click, then we get just the crosshairs. 
here that one wants to zoom in nice one more click and it's just a single dot and then one more click and we've got a dot centered inside a circle with crosshairs so so there they are so actually from from one end to the other it's just like on the box so ignore the dotted lines okay the first one is just a a circle with the dot then just the crosshairs then just a single dot and then the circle dot with the crosshairs so those are the four different reticle options available and then I really like the way that that one kind of shows up well on the screen so maybe if I do this then we can see it get brighter there's two and there's three click again there's red one red two and red three you can see the difference in the intensity or the difference in the brightness between them it is all made of it feels like aluminum um, some sort of alloy I'm sure I've got that switched back to off you can see here there's just a regular battery cover to uh, to get into the battery get that to focus there we go and then there is a, uh, a screw there for elevation over on this side there's a screw for windage so to go to the right click that clockwise once to go up click that counterclockwise once and then over here you can see the two screws that, uh, that loosen up the rail so that you can mount that on a regular Picatinny rail um, pretty straightforward it's very similar to the uh, the other one that I had um, tested here a while back it is uh, different than the Phyland this is Feachi um, set up a little bit different I, I kind of like the way that this is more minimal um, not such a big housing around it so that's kind of cool but uh, I don't know how long it'll be before I get a range video out where we can test this thing but uh, for now we'll go ahead and slip the cover back on just to keep it nice and clean and intact and uh, we'll kind of go from there but this has been the Feachi RS29 reflex sight red and green three different intensities on each color and then four different reticle options on each as well so uh, check it out you can get this on Amazon um, I will post a link to uh, the purchase page down below if this is anything like the other red dots that I have uh, received for T&E. Um, they may not be something that you want to go into battle with, but at the same time, for an afternoon of plinking, these things are amazing, and, and they're not going to break the bank. There's just not a whole lot of uh, expense involved in putting one of these on, on, your, uh, on your gun. So we'll test it out on the 22. I know they're great for rim fires. I don't know how they hold up to recoil on something uh, a little bit stronger, like a 5.56 five, or anything like that. Just because I don't have one. I don't have anything to test it on. So uh, we'll go with that for now. These have been just my basic thoughts. First thoughts when I unboxed it. We will uh, we'll let you know what we think after we get a chance to use it. And see if these, uh, if these adjustments are nice and easily felt and easily heard out in the field. Thanks for watching. And uh, God bless you. We love you.